Hey, what's up guys, Houston here. Let me ask you, do you have a recent bankruptcy? Do you have collections? Do you have recent charge-offs? Well, if that's you and you're trying to get money to start refixing your credit or restoring your credit and no lender don't want to work with you, no bank, no credit union don't want to work with you, well, I'm going to show you 10 possible places where you can go to possibly get a loan anywhere from a hundred up to ten thousand dollars all right now the first one is blue mountain loans okay blue mountain loans right and so with blue mountain loans they are a tribal lender now what do i mean by that meaning that when you go to the casino you lose your money at the casino these tribal lenders, they take that money and they loan it back out in the market, okay? Now, here's the thing about it that most people don't understand about tribal lenders and stuff. They don't do a hard pull with the major credit bureaus, okay? They don't do a hard pull with them. What they will do is they're gonna check like credit bureaus like Clarity, okay? Um, excuse me which is owned by uh, Experian, right? So they, Experian, then they may check uh, Data X, which is owned by Equifax, Data X, which is owned by Equifax, or they may check uh, Factor Trust. Now, Factor Trust is owned by TransUnion. So these are financial credit bureaus, all right, that lets them know if you had a loan or you had multiple loans, if you defaulted on a loan, this is what this is for, okay? Also, they may check Lexus Nexus, okay? So they may check Lexus Nexus as well, all right, so that you are aware. But again, in terms of when you have bad credit, these lenders, most of the time, they understand that, hey, this is a person that's struggling. They need help and stuff. They do have income, verifiable income. Now, what I mean by verifiable, you have active bank account with deposits going in it. You're going to need a active phone number. Now, these are direct lenders, so this isn't a database type of thing that shops your information around. These are direct lenders I'm dealing with here. That being said, like I said, active bank account, active phone number, active email, okay? Because they need to know that, hey, this isn't fraud. Now, one other thing that can get you denied is this, your address. Now, you may be scratching your head, why would my address get me denied? Well, here's the thing about it. Many people are not aware that because these companies are picking up all of this data, like I said, Experian, Equifax, TransUnion, they're picking up all this data from these here third-party credit bureaus, right? And they putting those addresses on your credit file. So when you put in that application, if that application address is not matching up what's on your credit file, then you can be denied. Not saying you did anything wrong, you just was not aware that your address was not updated on your credit file. Now, that's the reason I tell you guys, whenever you're shopping for money, you always want to make sure that you're using the right credit file. So you can click the link in the uh, description below to get access to that. But it's very important. I'll even, uh, if you schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation, I'll actually show you how to read your credit file so you can properly understand how to take advantage of different lenders and things of that nature, okay? That being said, going back to Blue Mountain Loans. Now, here's the thing about it with Blue Mountain Loans. Their loans go anywhere from a hundred up to twelve hundred dollars okay now please understand they're very conservative and these here most of these are predatory loans meaning that they have high interest rates right because when you go to a lender like this if you already have a charge off you have been through a recent bankruptcy you've been to recent uh a collection or something like that, then they already know that your chance of repaying the loan is very low, all right? So they charge the higher interest. That's the reason you can't go to your banks and your credit union. So you have to be more open-minded in understanding why these interest rates are so high, all right? That being said, now, like I said, if you come out of recent bankruptcy, 
You may have a collection or you may have a charge off, okay? So you may have one of those and they still may be able to work with you. Long as you have active bank account, income coming in, active phone number, active email and stuff like that, because they don't want to be scammed as well, right? So that's the reason. Now they're in 40 states, okay? So they're in 40 different states where you can actually reach out to them, all right? Guys, it's getting hot out here, all right? So please bear with me. Um, now, the next lender is, number two is big picture loans, all right? Now, here's the thing about it with big picture loans. They do not give you a certain dollar amount or whatever. What it is with big picture loan, again, it depends on your income. It depends on uh, the address, like I mentioned. Uh, if you in a current bankruptcy. Now, if you are in a bankruptcy, depending on if it's 11 or 13 or something like that. If you're in a seven uh, bankruptcy, you're currently in a seven or something like that, then they may not want to deal with you, all right? So just keep that in mind, all right? So again, just being transparent, if you're in a current bankruptcy, not saying a discharge bankruptcy, a current bankruptcy, then they may not want to work with you, but they offer installment loans instead of payday loans, okay? And again, it depends on your income. Now, another lender is up Rover, okay? Now, many of you have heard me talk about up Rover. So with up Rover, they go anywhere from 300 up to 5,000. Okay, 300 up to 5,000 is with Up Rover, all right? Now, here's the thing about it. If you have more than two open loans, you cannot get a loan from Up Rover, all right? So people say, well, I went there and they wouldn't work with me. If you had two open loans, they wouldn't work with you. So that's probably the reason why you couldn't get approved for the loan, all right? Now, you have another one. Number four is little, excuse me, my writing is terrible. Lake, little, little Lake Loans, okay? Little Lake Lending, excuse me. Now, with Little Lake Lending, here's the situation. They go up to $2,500, right? So they go up to $2,500. Now, they're not in Georgia, Illinois. Um, you have uh, Virginia, New York, West Virginia. So they're not in these also in uh, Vermont, right? So they're also not in Vermont. So if you're trying to get a loan in those states or whatever, then this here lender is not for you, all right? Now, another one is Birch Lending, okay? Now, the thing about it with Birch Lending is that their loans go anywhere from 1000 to 3000 okay? They go from three a thousand to three thousand. Now, here's the thing about it. They're not operating in 14 states. All right. So it's 14 states that they do not operate in. But indefinitely, if you don't have income, proof of an active bank account and stuff like that, they're not able to help you. All right. That's just the reality. If you don't have an active bank account, don't expect for these type of lenders to help you as well. Now. Let's talk about you guys that are entrepreneurs, all right? And you have bad credit and stuff, but you just came out of bankruptcy and stuff, but you're an entrepreneur. You're a freelancer, you're an independent contractor. You may be doing ML and M, right? So then, with that, you have Fundo, okay? Now with Fundo, they offer loans up to 10,000, right? Now they are a merchant cash advance. Now, the only thing that a lot of people don't like because they are not offered in California and New York. So if you're in these two states, then Fundo cannot help you because of your state regulations, 
All right, so keep that in mind. So can you have bad credit? Absolutely, they'll still be able to work with you. Now again, having an active bank account with deposits and stuff, you have to have deposit for at least 90 days. Minimum income you have to have is $1,500, all right? 90 days, $1,500. Now they use Plaid, okay? Plaid is Plaid Ant as well as Decision Logic. And what they're going to do, they're going to look at your bank account through Platter, Platter, Decision Lock to make sure that you're on the up and up. You're telling the truth in terms of your deposits. Are they coming from a freelance or something to verify income is what they're doing. All right. So just keep that in mind. Now, you have another one. You have the endo. Okay. They offer up to 10000 right? So you have bad credit, but... Here's the good thing about it. You may have a car with equity in it, right? So you have a car with equity in it, or you may even be paying on a car, but the car has equity in it and stuff. So with Yendo, they're able to help you get a line of credit, all right? They're able to help you get a line of credit. Now, here's the thing about it. It's called a car equity loan, all right? Now, again, it goes to 10000 the minimum is 450, all right? So they do a pre-qual. So you're able to pre-qual to see if you actually able to qualify for this loan, all right? Now, in terms of making sure that you have income to pay the loan back, that's very important. Now, here's the thing about it. I'm gonna tell you guys, they will become a lien holder on the title. So what you would do, you would take your title, they would uh, send you an envelope or give you an envelope. You put your um, title in the envelope, you would take it to a FedEx store, appoint it, FedEx store. Um, then they'll give you an envelope, excuse me. And then once they have verified that the title has been sent off, they wanna see pictures of the car and things of that nature, make sure the car is actually real. Now, another thing, if the car is in the shop, then they may not give you a loan because you have to have actually physical uh, access to the car, all right? So just so you know, all right? But they are working with people and they're giving up to $10,000 lines of credit with bad credit, all right? Then you have rise credit, okay? Now, with rise credit, again, rise credit, they go anywhere from 500 up to 5,000, right? Now, with rise credit, they're in 29 states all right so they're in 29 states so when you go to the website if you go down to the bottom you click on site map and then that would tell you the states and you're able to see if your state is on there before you put in the application now again they from the credit bureau they use experience and transunion uh third party credit bureaus okay so they're going to use clarity factor trust See if you're actually um, in a bankruptcy, you're currently in a bankruptcy, or did you have a loan with them in the past and you never paid it off, or do you have multiple loans? So these are the type of things that will get you disqualified and to verify that the information is accurate, okay? Making sure that you're not trying to scam them. to do what I got to do. And if you guys are getting value out of this, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know if I'm doing a good job. Is this something that's helpful, beneficial? Like I said, granted that these are high interest rate loans. But when the banks don't want to help you, when the credit unions don't want to help you, where do you go? Now, here's another tip for you guys. If you are working a job, I've been saying this throughout my videos, you need to go to your HR. You go to your HR and you request a file exam for three to four months. That means that they're not going to take out any federal nor state tax out of your check. That way you bring it home all of your check. So then that way you don't have to go to these here type of lenders because you have more money coming in, you're able to catch up on some bills without actually sacrificing these high interest rate loans. So I'm not trying to put you in a position that's a burden, I'm just giving you an option. So I hope that that helps some of you guys. 
Now, you, have a, you do have a platform, and that's IndyLand, okay? So with IndyLand platform, they loan up to $5,000 as well. And again, not focus on the credit. It's all about your availability to make the payments. That's what they're focused on. Then you have one last one, and that's Funds Joy. Okay, Funds Joy. Now with Funds Joy, up to 5,000, it is a platform, but they do work with you. They will help you, all right? Now, if you guys have any questions about business credit funding, personal credit funding, removing negative items off the credit, click the link in the description. Schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.